Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Today we're going to be talking about sluts versus studs. A difference in attitude. So, I hear this common perception being espouted from many a lips damsel that, you know, it's so unfair how when a man sleeps around he gets called a stud, but if a girl sleeps around she gets called a slut. You know, we all, we've all heard that so many times. Just so chuck that little chestnut on that pile there. But anyway, I thought I'd address this and just give you my opinion and my perspective on this whole entire matter. So, first of all, I like to say that times have changed from, you know, the rules and conduct and what was normal um, for human transactions and sexual and romantic transactions in the time of our parents. You know, things have changed since 30, 40 years ago. Um, these days, the concept of an open relationship or a flexible relationship and dating numerous people, you know, try before you buy is a lot more commonly practiced and accepted. So I think back in the old days, I think this whole perception of slut, you know, slut versus stud was probably a lot uh, truer and a lot more solid and real. Um, these days, I'm not disputing, you know, that it doesn't exist, especially in the minds of older people that are still accustomed to old ways or taught from their parents to still be kind of traditional in their outlook. Um, but I do think things, times have changed. I think, you know, women nowadays in general uh, are still respected a lot more, even if they choose to be open and date. I think that it's always become a norm to, for it to be like that. Um, but I'm still going to address the perception that, you know, a girl is a slut for sleeping around um, where a guy gets called a player. Because I'm sure that this perception does exist. So I'm going to address that. Here's an idea. Here's a thought as to why I think this perception might exist. All right. So basically, you know, if you go to a bar, if you're a guy and you go to a bar and you try to pick up a girl, you know, uh, generally you got to have a few cards up your sleeve, you know, you got to look nice, you got to play your cards right, and you're not going to be guaranteed success every time, you know, generally, unless you're you know, George Clooney or Brad Pitt or, you know, someone who's extremely good looking or you have a lot of money, you can just buy your way into a woman's pants. Generally, you're going to have to work at it, you know? You're going to have to work to try and get a girl's attention and to pique her interest and then actually take it somewhere, you know? Now, if you're a female, and I have friends that dispute this idea, and I think they're really, it's an up, uphill battle against reality, and all the evidence which mounts against their their perspective. But if you're a female and you go to a bar, even if you're just average looking, you know, um, you're not really super attractive, it's still relatively easy to get picked up. In fact, you probably have to try not to be approached and not to get picked up. So basically, if you're an average looking guy and you're an average looking girl, and you don't, neither genders are gifted with great looks and money and whatever. Um, I do think that generally the success rate for the female is higher for the simple reason that, you know, men are the providers. Men have to earn, earn a living and pay their way and build up their status and all of this, their reputation, um, their image. And they're gonna be able to buy drinks and all this, you know, it's, it's traditional that a, a man buys a woman a drink not the other way around. Generally, it's the man that has to earn his keep. You know, he has to provide to the woman to satisfy her desires and her wants, and then she'll choose whether or not he is worthy based on how well he performs. Generally, a woman, not saying this doesn't happen because stereotypes do get broken, but generally speaking, women don't really have to go out their way to, you know, work for a man and perform for a man, unless we're talking about in the bedroom or just looking good all the time, you know, and knowing how to keep the man interested sexually and, and whatnot. Otherwise, you know, it's generally not really uh, the woman's job to, to work too, too hard for, for the guy. So on this basis, you know, the fact that the man has to work a lot harder, I think this is why when a guy sleeps around and he gets a lot of different girls, he's called a stud, you know, because it's not as easy, there are not as many opportunities just jumping into his lap for him to 
to sleep around with women. If he actually does and is able to pull that off and sleep with numerous girls consistently or just a number of girls at a time, then I think that for some is worthy of more admiration. Like a, hey, well done, a pat on the back, kudos to you. Whereas with a woman, it's not really as impressive. It's not really an accomplishment because, you know, there's so much opportunity there. You don't even really have to work for it. There's nothing special about saying, just saying yes, okay, to 10 different guys. But that's not the case for the guy with girls. He doesn't just say yes to 10 different girls. He actually has to pursue them and play his cards, which is why, you know, they get called players as well. And that's what I mean. Girls complain about being called sluts. Men get called players all the time. So there's another point against that. Like, it's even. It's even, all right? The discrimination. But the difference, I think, is, and this is why I think the perception exists in some guys' minds, that if you sleep around, you're a slut. I think it's just that attitude and that bitterness that develops because with power comes responsibility. And I think that if it's true that there is generally more power in the female's court and the ball's in her court, if she chooses to, I don't know, capitalize and exploit every passing opportunity and sleep around, I think the guy will, some guys would generally have a, a greater inclination to be bitter about that because they think, well, you know, the, the choices are abundant. She should, should moderate or, or show discipline. And in some guys' minds, they think because they have to work for it, because the opportunities are less abundant, that, you know, they shouldn't have to be so moderate. They should take each opportunity as it comes. And I think that's the difference in attitude. It's like, you know, when Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor, people perceived glory in that, you know? If it was the other way around and the rich, you know, the queens started robbing the poor, it's not as glorious. You know what I mean? I mean, it's harder for somebody down here to achieve something up here. Whereas somebody up here exploiting that down here, there's, there's not as much merit in that. And I think that's the difference. It's the difference in opportunity and the, the list of opportunities and the list of potential that the male and the female have. And the fact that the woman has a lot more opportunity, I think some guys think that they should exercise more discipline and moderation. And really my personal opinion is I think that yeah, I think there is a difference in opportunity. Yeah, I think the woman has a potential to sleep around just as much as a guy, but easier. She doesn't have to work for it. Doesn't mean she doesn't deserve to do it anyway. You know what I mean? In all fairness, I think everybody has the right to satisfy their tastes and to have their own appetites. And that's fair enough. And I think it's a little bit immature just to get better because you, being a male, have to work a lot harder to satisfy your palate as much as some ladies do. And I think that's why uh, this whole slut perception exists, you know. But like I said, generally, as long as you're open and you're honest about it and you're communicating every step of the way exactly what's going on with everyone you're getting intimate with, then there really shouldn't be a problem. And I think that's where another thing that you know, guys get a bit upset about is girls that don't communicate this and then they sleep about and the guy thinks, oh wow, slut, you know? Guys do that too though and that's when they get called players, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's my food for thought on sluts versus studs. I really don't think that either exists but the, the perception does ring true with some people and those are the reasons why, you know? Great power comes responsibility, and some people get jealous that, you know, we're all playing the same game, but depending on what you have, there are certain advantages for you to exploit, and there are certain ways that you have to make up for your shortcomings and work harder to attain the same results. I think that frustrates some people. Cheers, guys.